Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft To Do. Microsoft To Do is a task list generator and organizer available as part of Office 365. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the web based version and have a look at its functionality, what it's capable of doing, and how it can keep you organized. So, here we are in the web based version of Microsoft To Do. So to do is all about creating a list of tasks that you need to get done either today, in the coming days, coming weeks or the coming months. And what to do is really good at is it's good at helping you categorize and group your tasks together so that you can identify the ones that you need to do today. Uh, the important ones that might not need doing today, but they need prioritizing above all the other ones. Uh, maybe tasks that have been assigned to you by other people and also tasks that have come to you via email. What we can also do, and you'll see here just down at the bottom, is put our tasks into task lists. So I can create various lists that might be in relation to projects I'm working on, maybe things that I just need to do on a weekly basis. I can put tasks into those lists and then we can even group those lists together. I'll be showing you how to do that real soon. So let's just have a deeper look on the left hand side. I can see that the various containers for my tasks are grouped here. So I have my day and that will contain any tasks that I need to complete today. I have the important category. So obviously any tasks that need prioritizing above other ones. I have my planned tasks. So these are tasks that I have planned to do on specific days of the week. I have the tasks that have been assigned to me. So if your organization has other people using Microsoft To Do or Microsoft Planner, they can assign tasks to you. And here's where those tasks will appear. The next one down is one of my favorites. It's the flagged email category. Uh, if you're anything like me, you will receive a lot of emails on a day-to-day -day basis and much of your work may come via email. So what we can do is we can flag an email in Microsoft Outlook and that email will appear in here as a task. Uh, a really useful feature and I'll be showing you how to use that shortly. And then finally, we have the all tasks category. So any task that I have created in Microsoft To Do will appear in the list when I click on that option. So let's have a quick look first of all at the flagged email category. Now, like I say, I receive much of my work via email. So if I just head over to Microsoft Outlook, I can see here that I've received an email from Katie in relation to some slides. And what I'm gonna do, because I need to have those slides completed by the end of the week, is I'm going to flag that email just by clicking on the flag icon over on the right hand side and then head back to Microsoft To Do. Now it can take a few seconds or a few minutes but what will happen is Microsoft Outlook will synchronize with To Do and it will drop that email as a task into the flagged email group. So what I'm going to do is just hit the refresh button there. Just to G that along a bit. Okay, I'm in. And here we go. Okay, so that's dropped through. I can see the name of the email is now the title of my task. Um, I haven't set when that's due by yet. So it's made an assumption that the task is due today. And I can see that it has the little envelope icon which indicates that came via email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click once on the task and I can see here on the right hand side, I get a bunch of extra options. Now, one of the things we can do and we'll be looking at this in more detail later is add steps. Um, you'll find that a lot of the tasks that you do will have various steps to them. So for example, if I was creating slides, maybe I would have to research the content of those slides. Maybe then I would have to find images to accompany my slides. 
and maybe I would then have to rehearse my timings. So what I have now is three steps that form the task itself. If I just scroll a little bit further down, now I can choose to add this task to my day. So if I click on the add to my day button, I can see here now that the my day group or category has a task and I can see now that this task is due today. So that's a really easy way of seeing what tasks I need to complete today. If I just go back to flagged email and click on the slide again, I can easily remove that from my day just by clicking on the cross button to the right hand side. Uh, the remind me option, I can click on remind me and choose exactly when I want to be reminded that the task has to be complete. So it has a few default options in there, but I can pick a specific date and time as well. And when that date and time comes, uh, a notification will pop up on my screen. And again, I'm just gonna remove that for now. Uh, I can make this a repeating task. So I can say that this is something that I will be doing on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis, or I can even customize exactly when those reminders or those repeat items recur. And if there's any files that I want to add to the task, I can click on the add file option, navigate over to whichever document or file I want to attach to the task. Okay, we've got a slight error there because the document's already open. Uh, but that would add a file to the task itself. Now, one thing you do need to remember is there is a 25 megabyte file limit when adding a file to a task. And then finally, down at the bottom here, I can open the item in Outlook. So if I want to go straight to the Outlook email, click on that and it opens a new browser window where it will show me the contents of the email. And then finally, we can add a note to the task down here. So as I go through and complete each of the steps involved in this task, all I would do is click on the task and then tick each of the actions off on the right hand side. And we can see that once I tick off the first step, over here on the left hand side, it tells me there are one of three steps completed of this task. I tick the second step, complete that, and then finally tick the third step. And you can see now it's telling me that all my steps for this task have been completed. So all that remains to do is mark the task itself as complete. And I can see now the task has been struck out. So that's that task completed. Um, let's just head over to the main tasks group or category and see what other tasks we have in there. So here's some other tasks that I have in relation to the presentation that I'm due to complete. Now, what we can do is we can put these tasks into task lists. So you'll see here, there are four task lists that I created earlier. If I want to add a new list, I can just click on the new list option down at the bottom here and type in the title of the new list and hit return. Um, if I want to put my tasks into a task list, once I've created those tasks, which I can do easily just by going down to the tasks option here and creating a task. So let's say we're gonna send a follow-up email as well after the presentation. All I need to do is just left click and drag and drop those tasks into the task list. So I'm just dragging those down to the presentation list. So I can see now that the presentation list has four tasks. 
if I click on the presentation list itself, I can see all the tasks in that task list. Now, what we can also do is we can group lists of tasks together. So we can see here, I've got a mixture of business related task lists and personal related task lists. So what I want to do is I want to create two task list groups. So I'm gonna click on the icon down here and create a new group called that work. And then I'm gonna click on the group icon again, and I'm gonna create a separate group called personal. Okay, so you can see now that I have two list groups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first task list, and I'm gonna drop that into the work group, along with my second work-related task list, and along with my third. So I now have all my work-related task list grouped together under the work group. Let's take those personal task lists and move them down to personal. So I now have my personal task lists as well. And we can easily expand or collapse those task lists to see everything in there. So that's really straightforward. Um, a couple of other things with the tasks themselves. So what I can do is I can click on the star button up here and it will add that to the important task group or category. I can also do that just by hitting the star button from here as well. We can also right click on any task to mark it as completed, or we can even copy the task and put it into one of the existing task lists. And finally, I also have the option to delete a task. So guys, in summary, that's how to use Microsoft To Do, the web-based version. In a future video, we will have a look at the iOS version, as I believe that contains some enhanced functionality. But for now, hit that like button, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you soon.